Princess Kate's desire to save Prince Louis and Princess Charlotte from becoming sparers, Princess Kate hopes that unlike their uncle Prince Harry, her younger children would not grow up to feel like bitter spares given that Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis will not receive the same treatment as their elder brother and heir Prince George, Princess Kate will be aware of the potential challenges that Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis may face. According to a thorough account in his memoir of the same name, Prince Harry, the children's uncle, struggled to accept the title of spare, but Kate, who strongly believes in the significance of an early education, will know exactly how to instill a sense of worth in her kids and show them that there are other options available to them besides living the life of a royal. William and Kate must be acutely aware of the problems for a royal spare, royal analyst Jenny Bond told OK Magazine. They've already demonstrated that they raise royal children differently and in a more contemporary way and I have no doubt that they will stop at nothing to ensure Charlotte and Louis feel just as special, cherished, and adored as George did. After his schooling is over, Louis may be encouraged to consider life outside of the royal family. This could mean joining the military, working in the nonprofit sector, or doing whatever else he finds fulfilling. She went on, I'm sure they'll urge him to attend university, where they both enjoyed studying, and, naturally, fell in love. After that, they'll want him to lead a life that fulfills him and is suitable for the son of a future king. They will try to ensure that he feels he is living a life of value, irrespective of his place in the line of succession, and that will probably involve service of some kind as they have emphasized from the start that they want their children to understand that having empathy with others is not only a kindness, but is rewarding as well. According to one insider, Charlotte and Louis are not expected to become working royals, therefore they might be encouraged to pursue their own jobs outside of the royal family. The working assumption is that the younger two children will get on and do their own thing, a source told the Daily Mail. They'll be urged not to follow in the footsteps of working royals. Even if there are fewer working royals now, because of aging and poor health, Prince William seems eager to carry on his father's legacy. King Charles has long advocated for a more condensed form of the working monarchy. Some people could be concerned that, once he, King Charles, is no longer in the picture, a King William V will take his plans for modernization several steps too far, according to royal author Christopher Anderson, who spoke to the Daily Beast. However, not all members of the royal family support these ideas, as Princess Anne made apparent in a CBC interview just before the king's coronation last year. She stated, I think the slim to down monarchy was said in a day when there were a few more people around to make that seem like a justifiable comment, making reference to Harry and Prince Andrew's breakup from the working family. To be honest, it doesn't seem like a good idea from my perspective. You know, I'm not really sure what else we can do.